My name is Megan Ross and I am a Human Resources Management major at Niagara University. In this video, we will be discussing the painting Red Mountain Peaks by Albert Bierstadt. Bierstadt was born in Salon, Prussia in the 1830s and moved to Massachusetts with his family at the age of two. Expressing an interest in art since a young age, Bierstadt moved to Europe in 1853 to study painting in Dusseldorf, linking up with Emanuel Leutz and Worthington Whitridge, two other American painters. Bierstadt's early experiences in Dusseldorf included traveling with Whitridge around Germany, Switzerland, and Italy, sketching a variety of scenes and landscapes. Bierstadt returned to the United States in 1858 and in the spring of 1859 to put his training in Dusseldorf to the test. Accompanying a survey party to the Rocky Mountains, this would be the first of many trips Bierstadt took throughout the American West, whose remote landscapes and schemes proved a popular source of inspiration and also was popular with the American public. Red Mountain Peaks is a prime example of Albert Bierstadt's style with its emphasis on light, warm tones and a serene landscape, not to mention featuring one of his favorite subjects, mountains. Two of the main things that drew me into this painting are the soft colors and the use of shadows. The lighting gives it a very realistic look and the shading in the snowy valley makes it feel like I am looking at a specific time, like at sunrise. When you first glance at this painting, it may seem a little muted and laid back with the use of warm tones. But the more you look at it, the more the details stand out, such as the angle of the lighting and the wispy clouds in the background. The way he used shading gives a sense of realness, different than something like photography might capture. Everything in the work feels both real and not real, in that it is almost too perfect, that you are not necessarily looking at a mountain peak, but what a mountain peak aspires to. Bierstadt created over 500 paintings in his lifetime, including some later works focused on the landscapes in the Caribbean. His legacy remains most well known for his depictions of the remote landscapes of the American West. While he enjoyed great popularity in the 1860s, in no small part to his savvy marketing and theatrical acumen, this success would be short-lived, and by his sudden death in 1902, his work and himself had fallen out of favor. Interest in Bierstadt's paintings renewed in the 1960s following an exhibition of his sketches and smaller works done while out on surveys and expeditions in the American West. And as Americans began a renewed push for greater protection of natural landscapes, Bierstadt's work depicted an almost mythological American frontier of welcoming peaks and untouched expanses, became a renewed source of inspiration. Although Bierstadt continues to have his critics who might point to things like the overly romanticized representations of American landscapes, few can dispute his legacy of capturing and sharing imagery of the American West with the general public. We hope you enjoyed this NU Perspectives video. Thanks for watching.